So, so this term is, a, is an example of how to distill. Uh, so what you would need at this point for distillation is a stand, a boss and clamp, so a boss and clamp, uh, another boss, uh, heating mantle, but before you do anything it's probably worthwhile to make sure that heating mantle is actually heated, you don't want to set everything up and waste valuable time afterwards by realising that the mantle is not heated. So switch it on, put your hand over the top, which is fine, it starts to heat. So while you're assembling the kit, turn everything off so you don't burn yourself while you're assembling the kit. So what we'll just show you uh, on this practical is just to distill at atmospheric pressure. So there's nothing complex here, so you need a flask of appropriate size, you need a still head, a receiver, uh, a condenser, a thermometer, and an adapter for the thermometer to go into the top of the still head. So you'll have your solution or your organic material in the flask. So the first thing to say is that the flask should be no more than two thirds full. So this is a 100 ml flask. This would now take a volume of, at the most of 65 ml. So make sure the flask is no more than two thirds full in volume. And as well, make sure the neck of the flask is clean. There's no organic on there. If it's dirty, some tissue paper, to clean the outside or some cotton wool with some acetone on, clean the neck of the flask. So there's nothing inside of there, but you need to presume there's an organic liquid inside. The next, the boss and clamp as follows. Now for this one, you make sure that the boss, the ridge of the boss is like that. So you can thread the clamp in and tie it in. If you need to take anything out, you can just unscrew and lift out. If the boss was in a different position, i.e. it was in this position, so the ridge was pointing upwards and it was clamped. Should there be a problem with the apparatus, you need to disassemble and take the clamp out. You then have to push down into the source of heat. This is not good, so there might be some capacity issues, you can't drag the glassware out or you will burn yourself. So make sure that the boss and the clamp is set up in this manner. So clamp, put your liquid or so your flask, round bottom or a pear shaped flask and clamp by the neck of the flask gently, don't shatter it, drop down, make sure that obviously that the flask fits nicely into the mantle. At that point it's best to get some anti-bumping granules, white or black, uh, black probably better to visually spot things and to just to take a couple of granules and throw them into the liquid. That stops the organic liquid bumping up. You then make sure everything is, is clean and there's no cracks on the on the joints. So thread in the, uh, the head. And as well, you need to probably put that in position. And now you clamp oh, with a clip. So you clip on, sorry, you clip on by one of these bivy clips the condenser and then the receiver can go into position as well. So next thing to do is to make sure the thermometer fits into a position where the bulb reads at the point where the liquid will distill over. So when you take the cap off you need to be able to thread through quite nicely the thermometer and then probably will come with another secure unit like this and that should possibly be can thread in. There we go. So screw in the cap and you need to get the bulb in a position it's level where the liquid starts to distill out. So we've put the condenser on but we're just going to take the condenser off for one moment and we now need to clamp or not clamp on to put on some rubber tubing. So you have water in at the bottom and out at the top, water it in at the bottom from the tap. So take the water source, just run a touch of water out of it and take a bit of tubing and wet it and put the tubing on to the edge of the, um, the condenser with a twist and a push. A twist and a push gets it on quite nicely and take the other bit of tubing, again just gently wet the outside part of the tubing and thread on with a twist and a push. 
So now you get your tubing on, that's quite nice. Some distillations, if you're leaving it for the night, it might be better now to get some wire and to wire around the tubing onto the joint to make it secure. So you put back into position, you clip together as appropriate. So water goes in at the bottom. We have water at the bottom. That goes to the tap. And then water leaves right at the top. We'll just get our cables out of the way for the moment. Water leaves by the top, so we'll put it this way. And then you just make sure you have a nice steady trickle of water which comes out. So that's probably too fast. So we want a nice steady trickle of water. That's probably quite nice for our needs. And now we'll just clamp via another boss down into the sink so it's nice and secure and no one can knock that out. So before we get going, we might just want to twist the tubing wire out of the way. If you're distilling, you need a receiver. So this is a vial. So pre-weigh it. When you distill the liquid into the vial, it could be a round bottom flask. Pre-weigh it. Put it under there. So when you set going, your liquid boils, it hits cold glassware and it trickles out there. You might need two or three vials of known weight in case you've many fractions. When you are bo boiling, you need to read the thermometer temperature to ascertain what boiling point you have. And that's how you distill at room pressure.